What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more My Hero Academia. Today we are doing Season 6, Episode 13, I believe. This one is called Final Performance. We're going to see some craziness out of Mr. Compress. We've already had an immense craziness with how we ended with everything last episode. Mirio, Best Genus, Endeavor, Todoroki, by every, literally everything. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to hop right on into this episode. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions as well as early access to the other shows I'm watching. Let's not waste any more time. My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 13. Let's do it. Everyone, even though it feels like you guys have come so far, you guys have not. You guys have not reached your dreams yet with this coming to a climax. Final performance. Oh, no. Oh, no. I always love hearing this music. Okay, so the CRC Creature Rejection Club or Clan, something like that. They're starting to get molly -wop by our League of Villains. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, they all got murked. So this is, uh, is post-season 4 because he has his prosthetic arm. So this is in the middle of season 4. Most definitely is. So that's how it relates to how, how we are right now. Because our goals have not been accomplished yet to destroy. Until six months ago. Wow. How much the league has changed from then to now. RIP twice, man. I'll buy you time to wake up the boss. Is he trying to do some sacrificial she shit? You can't put on a show alone. The final performance. No, you cannot. We know you're all about the show. Is he going to compress his own ass cheek? He really did. That was actually kind of crazy and badass from Mr. Compress. What amazing goal. Is that a fatal wound? Oh, that's confirmed. What the fucking minute threats? I love how best genius can bind you with your own clothes, but he thought of that ahead of time. He's just fucking... Oh my god. Atsuhiro. Okay, Mr. Quirk Robin Hood. Social reform. Who are you feeling like? Atsuhiro, in our family line, that's where he gets that sense of nobleness and honor from. We're back to this already. Jet kindling, jet burn. Kindling is normally not as strong as a full-blown burn. So his family line's goal in this world is being passed on and carried by Mr. Compress's Hold on, hold on. I, oh, Robin Hood's. I am OG Harima's great, great grandson, Atsuhiro. I gotta, I'm gonna write all this down during my editing, but wow. So that's why when he said you have an interesting lineage too to Dabi, the blood of the bandit king. Or when it mattered for that time. You need, you do need a key. He does, oh, he looks so cool. And he's getting everyone out of there, Dabby Skeptic. Mr. Compress is actually kind of a badass. I actually really enjoy his story of being like the Robin Hood style lineage, you know, great great grandson. That's so sick. Shouts out to Master, I guess. They got each other, but R.I.P. Master Driller. Is this the first user talking to Deku? Oh, yeah. The stabbing feeling in my head. Danger sense. Okay, fucking Peter Tingle. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, he can't control it. Using a lot of excess energy, uh, debilitating on his body. Readmission to his once in a lifetime escape show. Oh, Phantom Menace right there. Give me time to give his backstory. Come on. He's not wrong. He did give them time. It was just a diversion to stall. Dabby and Skeptic in a scarf. A supporting character. He really was a great supporting character, though. You two are the stars. Gotta give a shout out to Mr. Compress. Oh, that's a hand. He's gonna have a crisp ass, ashy hand on his face. With the music going on right now, how orchestral and sounds like I'm listening to like Duel of the Fates. That eye opening right there. Oh no, he's back to full consciousness with the EMP immediately. And just when oh, spider senses are tingling, just when we thought shit couldn't get worse. With the music, bro, I can't get over how good this fucking okay all for one who are you feeling like bro the fact that his face is literally peeling into tomara's you could see all for one's fucking mangle what the fuck look at oh my god look at how much he is putting his body through everyone not just literally everyone lit There's a reason this is the end of core one. This is the end of part one of the season. <laughs> He's like, you are not Tomura anymore. <laughs> yeah, Spender's just now realizing. I love how they're doing the voice modulating of Tomura mixed with All for One too. It's so good. His body needs to rest. It reminds me of, like Mother Talzin from the Clone Wars, you know? He officially is. A Makia Toga in a sportsmanlike way. He he lost. He's gonna pay the consequences for the actions and he lost. They just keep swarming. And now with all for one more in control of Tomura's body than he is, he's just gonna have so much oh no, so much more experience, so much more everything. With the Nomus going towards him, this is so horrible. How? How? Oh my god. His, his tenacity is comparable to All Might's. This man is full limb fucking ragdolled flying at you. This very much feels like... Oh, uh, yes we will. This very much feels like, um... Season 2 of Attack on Titan. I'm not going to give it the reveal spoiler, but there's a reveal. And then something like this. And then something we... Hmm. It's, you can tell it's going to be built up for later. Yep. When we do finally get the ultimate confrontation, this will be peak my hero. I had a feeling like that. That he, a part of him wants to save Tomura from this fate. With the... How that is a reference to Bakugo, how that's a reference to heroes just innately moving with, you know, how this music reminds me of season five when Mirio and Deku had that thing with Overhaul. This genuinely does feel like the climax. Like everyone, every single person we know is on their last limbs and or dead. I know I said it like 42 times throughout this arc, but this is currently peak my hero. This feels like the culmination of everything and I have goosebumps all over my fucking arms right now. I wish I could show you. Oh, my lord. Majestic. Tamaki. Even though there was absolutely no resolution. Because nothing was... Oh. 
Uh, so as I was saying there in the end of this episode before the ending hit me was that this feels like a natural resolution to this arc similar to how the arc in season two of attack on titan what i'm thinking of i'm not going to tell you guys what but like it's something crazy and it's set up so perfectly where it's like wow this both sides both sides took hits both sides this will forever change the game and the scope and the landscape of this show but both sides took the l's and now they're going to come back in the future and it is going to be everything everything that has been built up like i know and i'm i keep i just said referencing attack on titan again but i know in attack on titan when that built up is paid off later on it is whew, it is magical so the fact that we've not only had so much build up from season one till now to all have references and culminations and easter eggs and moments and, and fucking master s class s tier master class moments but it's still technically not even close to the end you know like we could easily have so much more so much shit happened i i, I don't know how to say this and i'm not going to tell you in case it's not currently right now but uh, damn, no, I'm not gonna even gonna say it. I'm gonna say it when we do get some confirmation, probably next episode, because next episode is the beginning of part two or part two of this season. But yeah, I, I think one of the spoilers that literally the only spoiler of my hero I knew did 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 occur or or, or was confirmed at least within the last couple episodes. So I, I'll go into that probably next episode when we get the confirmation on that. And if you guys know, you guys know. But overall absolutely phenomenal episode i i i know i said it a hundred times but i love everyone giving it their all on both sides going beyond plus ultra like sacrificially whether it's twice over at the villa now is mr compress who i'm glad uh i'm glad best gene has confirmed that yes even though this is his final act you know the great escape show all that that first wound he did to even get out of those binds was fatal off rip. So he went into this knowing that he's doing this for his boys and to continue on the dream and legacy. I do love the little Robin Hood backstory of, of his of his lineage, stealing from the unjust and the rich who line their pockets and giving to the needy. Like he, he's the great, great grandson. That's, that's kind of, you know, kind of fucking sweet. And then how Tomura is, oh, He's being designed with All Might, or not with All Might, All for One, like coming out and leaking out of his body. And then we have that, what Deku said about wanting to save him kind of deep down. Again, that gives me a reference to Attack on Titan. Also in seasons, it's kind of season three, but right season two is later perfect for it. Oh man, I, I just don't want to spoil anyone who hasn't seen that fucking masterclass of a show called Attack on Titan. But overall, amazing episode amazing part one to this season absolute peak my hero so far cannot wait for season or part two i am willing to bet part two is going to be more on the downside more resolution more setting up maybe even more training but just know with how much i got paid off with this i am ready for anything the show is going to give me hopefully you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel have a great night. Peace out.